Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And as you see in the title, I'm canning a delicious version of black beans. Um, I actually want to give a shout out because this was inspired by the thrifty chic housewife. And um, she did chipotle black beans and I thought the recipe sounded delicious. Years ago, I did a recipe for you with spicy black beans and I did jalapenos and onions and all that. And it, and it was very good, but I love chipotle peppers because they are a smoked ripe jalapeno. And they're in the adobo sauce, which I'm gonna make sure that each jar gets some of that sauce as well. Um, I'm gonna add garlic, lime juice, and salt. So guys, if you like canning sessions, I soaked overnight my black beans. I soaked about seven pounds of black beans and um, they are now, they've soaked overnight, I rinsed them, I've sorted, and now they're in my big 22 quart stock pot where they're gonna come up to a boil and we're gonna start canning. We're gonna fill our jars. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want my jars as full as possible. I'll be using pint jars, which are all, they've all gone through the um, wash cycle, the sanitized cycle in the dishwasher. And even though they're going into a pressure canner, that doesn't matter, it's, it's never, it's never a bad idea to just be doubly safe with all your stuff. So I've got my lids and rings, my garlic cloves are peeled, I've got my chipotle peppers, I've got my lime juice, and oh, I'm excited. So I'll bring you in as soon as I start loading up jars. All right, come on in. And don't forget, hit the like button down below. And if you guys are interested in trying to stock your pantry and you don't have access to canning, a great way to do that is to go over to my Thrive website and um, get on the list as a monthly delivery and so you can get 15% off every order and if you spend $100 you're going to get free shipping and you can stock your pantry with black beans freeze dried black beans they are pre-cooked they are almost instant and they're delicious so I hope you go over there and get yourself some ordered you may have to wait a bit but I think you'll uh, enjoy it when you do get them put in your pantry pantry all right, guys. Okay, guys, I am ready to start jarring these beans up. And I changed my mind on the salt. So in this is a tomato and chicken bouillon. So it's, um, you'll find that right next to the other bouillons. This will be my salt. And it's also gonna add some extra flavor to the beans. But I think it might help keep the beans firmer. Just because I know in meat products, the ingredients in bouillon helps keep the meat from becoming mushy, if you will. So my beans have been on the stove for a half hour at a boil, and I'm just gonna turn this cutting board here. Um, I've got my big pot right next to me, and I'm gonna take these out with a um, slotted, I want these jars as full as possible. Uh, with it within a half an inch of headspace, but I got to leave room for my chipotle pepper, right? Yep, and so I think that looks about right, right about there, you know, just under the. And I want to put, I love spicy, so I'm putting two chipotle peppers in each jar, and there you go, right on top with a quarter. Or is this an eighth? No, this is an eighth. An eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, because I like it spicy. Um, half a tablespoon of that, or a half a, a, a tea, sorry, a teaspoon of the chicken bouillon. And now I'm gonna do my lime juice. I'm not doing the cilantro like uh, the recipe that I watched did it. This is really close to how I usually do my spicy beans, except I usually use just plain jalapeno. So a tablespoon of lime juice, and I'm using bottled. I also want uh, if a good sized clove of garlic, and I'm putting one good size and one small. Now I can bring my hot water over and fill my jar and go, get right over top of that bouillon. Fill that up to a half an inch or an inch of headspace because we're pressure canning. An inch of headspace is always standard with pressure canning or at least that's what I've found. Take your debubbler, your debubbling tool and go ahead and debubble. Um, just get down 
each side of the jar here and get any bubbles you might have. And this is going to be nice. I'm going to have a full, full jar of beans. Okay, that looks good. We're going to take this to the next guy. I have my canner sitting at about uh, uh, 180 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and put this jar in to the canner. We're going to get our, oh, I think I need my, my, uh, my magnetic wand. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my clean. I wash my lids, even though they're brand new, wash them. Wash those lids. You don't have to have them soaking in hot water, but I do. Fingertip tight, and this goes in the canner. Isn't that beautiful? It's going to be absolutely fantastic to have full pint jars of these beans. Okay, in the canner, and I'll, I'm going to bring you in uh, at a different angle and show you some fast forward. to get this all done I still have beans left so there'll be another canner load but I'm gonna do them in one and a half pint jars and I'm doing them plain so I'm gonna get my lid on and you want to match up arrows so so you can put that seated down on there and you're gonna bring your opposites Tighten them to where they're touch, you know, they're actually snug, but not super tight. We're going to go back around. This is how you get your lid even. Um, I'm going to, once this comes up to temp, I'm going to let this vent from here, from the petcock. I'm going to let that vent for a full 10 minutes. That's equalizing the water temperature in the canner. It's part of the canning process. You do not want to cut that step. It's part of the timing process as well as the cool down so don't rush any of those steps so now I'm gonna really tighten them up and for my altitude I am gonna do 10 pounds uh, a 10 pound weight but it's gonna be 11 pounds on the gauge I know where to rock this um, once it comes up to uh, starts rocking I'm gonna gradually turn my burner down I let this all come up pretty slowly I want very little evacuation from my jars so um, I have 18 pints of black beans and a ton more to go. So I'm going to get my other little canner out and I'm going to load that up with one and a half pint jars. All right, guys. Hmm. It's going to be quite the day. Okay, guys. <laughs> so just an update. I had to get my other canner out. Um, I have five one and a half pint jars in this little canner. They just, both of them started venting at the same time. They vented for 10 minutes. I just now put the 10 pound weight on. When it gets up to 10 pounds, it starts jiggling. I'll adjust my temperature and we'll go from there. These are gonna, these are gonna go for 90 minutes. These are gonna go for 75 because they're pints. And because these are one and a half pints, we don't have a timing for that. So we're gonna jump it up to the quart size. I still have a half a pot of beans, but tomorrow for my next canning video, I, right now I have a pulled, uh, or a pork butt, pork shoulder, and a half of a pork loin out on the big green egg. It's been smoking since eight o'clock this morning. It's not quite at 200 degrees to pull it, but if you've never had canned smoked pork, oh my gosh, the texture is just like you just made it. It's delicious. It's it, it doesn't get too strong. It's it's absolutely delicious. I opened a jar from, and I'll tell you all this in that video, but that's gonna be in the canner tomorrow. So any room that's in the canner to make up for, I'm gonna have black beans to um, supplement inside that. All right, because I'm gonna get the rest of these canned up. I will have black beans for a couple of years, I'm pretty sure, or at least a year. All right, 
we'll uh, bring you back when this is all done and we are pulling them out of the canner, which will be, a, it'll be a while. All right. Let's come down off of pressure. I've opened the thumb screws and I've kind of tilted the lid up so it could let some hot air, hot steam and all that out of the canner. It's been sitting here about 15 minutes. So I know it's way impressive to have those come out of there boiling in the jars, but trust me when I tell you, if you open this canner before it's time, you, your jars are gonna siphon. You won't even see it happening. They're gonna siphon some of their liquid. And I want every bit of liquid that I put in the jar to stay in there. So everything I do from here is slow and methodical. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'll take this lid off as well. Oh, they look beautiful. And now I can take these out. So I have five one and a half pint jars. Oh, they're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous and full. To the top, there is a little siphoning. This one was a little hard to regulate, but I think they're beautiful. The beans are all the way to the top, and yes, it's still boiling. We're gonna see how well they did. And <clears throat> it's okay. Not, not too much siphoning. This one looks like quite a bit. So the jars that had a lot of siphoning, you're gonna want to use those first. And I'm not sure why one jar would have it and not the rest. It's that one right there. That's kind of odd, but that's okay. We're gonna put these out on, I've got um, double towels down on my countertops. Yeah, these didn't siphon, just that one jar. So that'll be the first jar I use. And um, like I said, I don't know why one jar would siphon and not another in the same canner load. Doesn't make sense, but. Okay, so here we go, that one. That is done. And now we have 18 pints of black beans, chipotle black beans, full to the top. I'm gonna get a really good picture in the morning. I mean, these beans go all the way the way they're supposed to. I am so excited. You guys, I hope this inspires you to try your hand at home canning. It's been kind of a long afternoon waiting for this, but try your hand at home canning get it done i don't have to worry about black beans for myself or probably my daughter's family for another year and it's done it's out of the way and we're good to go and um you know spend a day doing it and then you have the rest of the year to buy and i know what's in here i know these were organic black beans i know that i did everything i could to make this process safe and delicious and now I'm ready to go on to the next project. All right, guys, we're going to be canning some pulled pork tomorrow, so stay tuned. All right, go check the links below. I'll try to leave a link to my canners down below. So if you don't have a pressure canner yet, go down there and get one. You can access any reputable, um, safe canning instructions online and get it free. Go to the National Food Preservation website and you can learn how to do this for yourself. All right, don't take my word for it. Do it the right way. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.